Well, hi there, it's Ian, the Renaissance guy yeah, from uh, Trends Change, and uh, just here with a few thoughts, and I really wanted to uh, share uh, some very deep feelings that I've experienced in the last couple of days, and I'm not going to go into it very, very, uh, I'm not going to go into it too deeply because it, I'm still in a state of shock. Um, somebody who I knew uh, since I was 18, um, since uh, well, from the age of 18 onwards, um, their mom just passed away, and it, um, it's literally yesterday. And um, bearing in mind, I've been friends with this person for a very long time. And I really want to make a really bold statement is that, um, first of all, I use Facebook for keeping in touch with people. That's all I do. But now, nowadays, the only reason why I really use it is to show my progress with what I'm doing and where I'm going. Same, and to share uh, my YouTube channel with people. That's about it. Um... Social media can be both a fantastic, useful tool, but a very narcissistic, very poisonous, very nasty place to be. Uh, social media, uh, we're talking about, um, you know, uh, Facebook, IG, TikTok. And, um, you know, to be honest with you, it was a little bit the cause of the separation between me and this guy. Now, um... Thanks to a few people that I've been listening to on YouTube, I managed to kind of pull myself out of that. And I reconnected with this guy a little while ago, and we've uh, talked on and off. And you know what? I'm glad I got past that poisonous, insidious, soul destroying element that is so prolific. On Facebook and IG today and it really is there's a lot of nasty self-censored rubbish going around so I'm gonna turn around and say you know you we need to as a people pull ourselves out of that because it is so destroying and I'm so glad that I was able to call this friend of mine up and say hey man you know I you know what I'm so sorry this has happened to you. I'm sorry this uh, this this situation. I love you, and I'm there for you whenever and however you you need. And you know we're losing, as a people we're losing that, uh, thanks to some very very nasty, poisonous people on uh, these sort of sites today and you know what it comes down to real truth and I've, t I've talked about this I've talked about in training and everything else it's what you value and what you put into something and I'm going to share a story with you where when I did the, in in England when I did the uh, gym instructors level two um, I had to sell some books of mine that I really enjoyed to get to the place I was going, I, I needed the bus fare, or I could do this, or I could any, and you know what? Through sacrifice and doing that, I learned to value what I do. And there's a lot of things that I have said, well, I don't need that because I need to do this, and I've put the value into what it is. And you know, I really think the reason why people are so valueless, are so destructive, is because, you know, Facebook's free, IG is free, um, even YouTube is free. And I think it's because people just don't value it. They don't put the value into what they have. So you can go on, say anything and everything that they want to do, and, you know, there's no, there's no repercussion either. So, um, we've got to, we've got to value ourselves enough to turn around and go, you know what, I don't want to entertain it. And, and I said to, I said to my friend, you know, I said, I said, you know, from now on, I'm not, I, because, you know, we've got different political opinions for one. I said, from now on, I'm not going to, I'm not going to comment. 
because there's so many things on the political front that there's such a huge separation now uh, between people that they just cannot respect the fact that someone has one opinion than the other or if you turn around and say something different and you don't go with the flow or the trend then you um you you yourself are narcissistic you're you know egotistical because you don't or you're phobic or whatever it may be and well man we, we, we've got to get ourselves out of this i mean I've never seen such a divide and thank God I'm waking up to a lot of things and really sort of relying on my own perceptions to really see just how it's happening. You know, we're being poisoned people and I, I suppose the reason why I'm doing this YouTube channel is because I kind of want to turn around and say, you know, I, I, I was poisoned by it as well and we've got to bring us, we've got to, we've got to give ourselves the antidote of bringing down our pride and ego and actually turning around saying hey well you know we've got to focus on ourselves and how we are progressing and put value into that and rather than putting other people down just turn around and say hey you know what I'm just going to try and help people the best I can if they want that help great if not then great you know hey you know um, as long as I reach out to my fellow man and I do include women out there so if you if you hear that oh why do you mention women uh, you know what live with it I'm meaning everybody I need to be able to do this and to re and raise people up and I think that it was and I've always said this that's the greatest strength that anybody can have is somebody who who is willing to lift people up say plain and truthful things and to say hey you know what I want to try and help where I can so you know the moral of the story is is don't let the poison of social media influence your family and friends or your relationship with them. You influence how that goes. Nobody else. Have a great day.